Alright, this is my office light controller. Uh, you see here I have a, an LCD telling me that the shelf lights are on, the overhead warm LEDs are on, overhead cool LEDs are on, uh, the spotlight, which is not hooked up, uh, the auxiliary, uh, which is also not hooked up, and the floor are on, and the bus voltage down there is just displaying what voltage is running this thing here. Um, this is overkill, extremely overkill. This just controls my uh, LEDs on my workbench here. You can see I have a, a bunch of transistors down there controlling the load and uh, some heat sinks and a 5 volt regulator. It's getting fed by 12 volts. The most sloppy uh, closure and case wiring I've ever done in my whole entire life. There's a little board hanging out here just connecting everything. Uh, but you can individually control um, all the lights. All right, I'm going to try to explain this operation a little bit better here with a stabilized uh, camera slash iPhone. So if you turn on the master button, you see that the all the lights come on. Uh, the shelf lights, which are CCFL, snap, of course, they don't have a fading option. And the rest, uh, there's six other outputs that are PWM controlled, so that's, um, uh, they'll all fade up. And then uh, if you hit that again, they all fade out. Of course, you can individually control them. Here's the shelf light. Um, here is the uh, master of warm LEDs. Turn those off. And here is uh, the master of cool LEDs. And then uh, the spotlight and aux are not hooked up. The floor is actually hooked up, but uh, I'll show you a shot of that later, maybe. And. Uh, uh, let's turn the lights back on here, and a couple of things. This header right here is um, is for upgrading the firmware. That's for an FTDI header. If you have like an FTDI basic or uh, one of the FTDI cables from from uh, Adafruit, and uh, you also have, um, if we can jump back here. There's a 328 running the whole deal. There's some transistors in there. Uh, relay for the CCFLs. Um, and lots of sloppy soldering because this was done on an afternoon when I just got frustrated because I couldn't see, so I put myself uh, together some lights and a little controller here. So, and then the switch on the side here is for putting it into firmware upgrade mode, which basically just takes all the power, so I don't have to unhook it from power when I put my FTDI cable uh, to it to upgrade the firmware. And that way I can update the firmware, not worry about power interfering with USB power. And then when I'm done, I flick it back, and then uh, that's it. And I'll show you. You can probably see some of the reflections, wondering what in the world is going on here. Um, let me pan back a little bit and show you the disaster that I call my bench uh, that I'm loving so much. Um, I have a couple of projects going on here. Whoops. Get this thing focused in here. I've got a couple of projects going on here. Um, a couple other things like that. Uh, under here, you can see I have CCFLs. Line under this bench, which works very nicely because my eyes are up here, so everything is lit very nicely down here. And then if you pan out to the top, I have a couple of strip LEDs and a couple of one watt warm LEDs up there that are uh, quite bright and uh, allows me to solder and uh, do my hot air stuff and, and everything like that. So this is the again I wouldn't say disaster disaster, but my working bench here. Uh, my wonderful iMac that has lots of code written on it. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell.